Beatrice could not help Garrett, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an O'Neromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. Trouble? Come closer, don't be shy. You'll find I've everything you ever need. White one, take a gander over here. Oh. Come one, mm -hmm. come all. Well, well, look who's here. The White Wolf himself in my humble establishment. How can I be of service? Till next time. One for the price of two. What can I do? What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. Great to you. Time I went back to sea. Excellent. Darling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Twelve forty five to twelve fifty four. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Dandelion and his cohorts planned the highest sugar and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Potassium signed by one Kalkstein. Stain. Wyvern oil.
Siri. Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has Dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Dijkstra and Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my boucheleroise, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Information's out of date. We are not. Yes, I know. You parted a week after the summit of Loch Muin, in the woods near where the Lixella flows into the Pontar. But you know what they say. Old love never dies. First. First love. Now how the hell... <laughs> That's my secret, lovebirds. Really must be going. Good luck. Didn't have to disagree so strongly. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hope not. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen. Meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks.
slice of two. Oh, uh, I'll say you we are over to a brothel. What should I whip up for supper? That is really funny. No! You see the new waitresses. You will see. Stare any harder and your eyes will pop out. <laughs> the thinking customer will see what we have the best deals. Did we call? I asked for fresh fish. Watch this. Fresh fish. Perhaps. Tablets up to the latest fashion. Get them here and only here. They look nil guardian. The fashion has come. We want to make sure the trick's not here. Hello, oh, Lord. Right. Expect you. Greetings. Ah, you're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you? Looking for Junior. Aha! Welcome to the Horse and Hunters Club! Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Bloody mess. Just... sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horse and Junior to a get-together with his mates. It became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient right of hospitality. I'm gonna take a look around. Got my eye on you. Seems to me I've heard of you before, Whitehair. Oh! Uh. Come on! Nothing interesting here. were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Nothing interesting here. Place has been scrubbed clean. More roads lead to my heart. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. Love to chat it up with Dorman. 
In fact, often come to an agreement with them. Thing is, I'm short on patience today. So either let me in or I'll let myself in over your dead bodies. Oh, hear the cockerel. Kicking and standing is comb on edge. Cock-a-doodle-doo, what am I to do? Shit myself. All right. Go left. If you would know. Knows Junior's made it. The Redanians.
gate, manageable by death. This is no place for the likes of you. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out of luck. Gonna get in there. Better for you to let me in. And if we don't, then what? I'll kill you. Do you get that? Got it all right. He threatened us and reached for his weapon. Die, you plowing bastard. Bad idea. Oh! Screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? <sighs> What's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well. Kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. Don't trust you an inch. Told you all I know, I, I swear. You'll have to stay a bit longer. No, please. Think about it, it's not too late, hear me? Change your mind. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Save me. I'm dying of poverty. My husband 
supervisor by trade. It's gotten so I'm afraid to see the surgeon. Never know when they'll accuse him of witchcraft. Why buy tomorrow what you can buy today? Cleave it takes a cut. How's a man to turn a profit? Sleep, sleep, sleep. Do. What do you want? Wiley, Orson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Orson's neck deep in shit. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the Big Four. Need someone who can get me in to see Jr. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. Slow now. Whoa. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? I see. 
And behind you, that's a berry picker's can? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. You blind, Hortensio! That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Come in, Geralt. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. Laugh all you want. Tamaria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I you can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. <laughs> Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Well, I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Hmm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford. At a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Is it true you kill kings? You and our commander. Run, Roach. Faster. Ready? 
My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? To kill time? I have no time to squander, let alone kill. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. <laughs> I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open, squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. The king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. You just give me a man, after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time.
Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Maybe not. Maybe you're fucking shot. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard! Generate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Sandwich fuck is this? No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming.
Stop! What? What do you want? Hello, Junior. Been looking for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? The girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. I can't leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Oh. 
Where's Ruben's treasure? I've got you, a little whore. An eye for an eye. Listen, this is what we'll do. Get that fucking whore! That's what happened. Tell you true. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. 
ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. I can't understand what. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. I agreed to the Conclave's revival, but what has this brought me? The mages at my side are mediocrities, cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Order in the fire, lad. Magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. those swords, but I prefer my trusty axe. Wait! It's not worth shite if a weak arm. Wounded and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad.
with you. Just what our bandit there. Is still down there. I don't give Leave a shit. Be. What do you want? The search is kept, Witcher. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but one plowing trouble after the other. What's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Good work. Saved me some time. We're thrilled. Time I saw if Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. that opens this door.
here. Missing one tile. Perfect hideout for an owl. Portals. Great. And the witch hunters probably messed with them. Works. Who would have thunk? back. Not one step closer. She then before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. I'll wait up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. All right. Let's get you out of here. Told you already. No chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal. I'll get us out of here. But the monsters? I'll defend you. What if you can't? No time to argue. Give me the crystal. Over my dead body. Have it your way. Monty mutant! Oh. Right. Enough! I'll 
give you the dumb crystal. Out of my way. Ooh. Right, now to activate it.
Modest, but a home nonetheless. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. Hmm. What's this? Aniseed and birch bark. Powerful disinfectant. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. A megascope. Scorched, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. A megascope. Scorched, covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped. Dress will know what to do with this. Find anything? Not your concern. Wrong there, friend. I serve the king. Everything that concerns him's my concern as well. Hand it over, whatever you found. We'll see the king gets it. Forgetting yourself. Save your orders for your men. As you wish. Grab him! Get it from both sides! Get! Fuck. 
This is the ship of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the King. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you. Witcher, any progress? Have you found Eilhart? No, I wasn't in her hideout. But I found this crystal there. If I'd wanted a shiny bauble, I would have gone to a jeweler. You were to bring me Eilhart. This is a Megascope crystal. The mages you keep in prison should be able to extract something from it. Yes. Oh, at last. They might prove useful. Not exactly what I expected, but... Very well. You've earned your pay. Now forgive me. I have affairs to which you must attend. In short, who kisses your ass today? Like dung that flows to the sewers, so the worst scum flows. Uh, 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 Washed yeah. your hair, lady. Ah! Junior. Yes? And? Did you learn something? Yeah. Siri and Dandelion set out to steal Siggy Reuven's treasure for Horson. He promised to find someone who'd fix Siri's phylactery in exchange. I cannot believe she parleyed with the bastard. Why? It's widely known how anybody who packs with Wiley ends. Siri was desperate. But you're right. It wasn't the best idea. Horson ended up wounding Siri just after he tortured Dudu. Dudu? Is Dudu related to this in any way? Seems Dandelion got him involved to help Siri. Luckily, Dudu managed to escape, probably hiding somewhere now. Huh. What of Wily? He's dead. Take care now. It's 
a material world. And we fix it for you. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here? With everyone watching. This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do. No matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right? Hmm. All right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches? They murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, Ginger Whore! 
and you spit it out. Where's Isleheart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Beware, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Got a foolproof Ooh. method for exercise. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. All right. Had enough of this charade. What are you on about? Watch and learn. Spread out! <laughs> That's all of them. That was close. I must say, trickery and deceit, not your strong suits. True. I prefer straightforward solutions. Yeah. Fight first, ask questions later. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body, you search the room. I'd start with the desk. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, 
There's something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this will make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. It. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Triss. Mr. Roven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. Soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Spare me. I want my reward. Geralt, do all you witches have such nerve? What do you mean? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me. But you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I 
didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Find any monsters in Novigrad. The eternal fire oh, burns within oh, yeah. me. I don't know you as the only terror you are. Ah! Ah! Must be the drop box. Gave the signal. I should show up in far corners before midnight.
Triss? How'd you know to... Ah, uh, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. Menge. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. <laughs> you must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. So, can I talk? Uh, yes! Yes! You just tell me what the fuck about! We're looking for Dandelion. We know Menka captured him. What? That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! The amount of sets up at the start, before your body started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. Get to the point. The dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menga is planning to execute him in auction first. Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menga's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast, Harold. I know. You've seen too much. Why? I told you. I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you. I helped... It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, slay, and gave. Feel. Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe. Then drink myself to oblivion. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island. And he'll stay there until Manga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Manga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment? I'd appreciate it. All right.
We need to get out of here. That's it, Roach. What's he doing here? Willows. It's into the area too, guys, right? We got right cabbage last night. Head feels like it's full of sound. Like dung that flows to the sewers. So, there you go with this thing. So, the worst scum flows to the sewers. Sorceresses, there's a good thing. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know, Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. 
Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvera. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, alright. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. is the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troupe performs in the butcher's yard of the main square. Join us later. <laughs>